She said to me, people just want to leave their mark as she pressed her hands into the still wet cement as if trying to make sure that I knew what she meant. Sweat dripped from her forehead to her lips as the sun shined down baking our potatoes into chips. She looked up at me and said suddenly, it's interesting seeing you in this light. At first I wouldn't have fucked you, but now I just might. She tangents off with a quick click of a scoff. Death isn't real and neither is life. Don't ever think I'll let you call me your wife. She then sits down, putting her head between her knees, complaining about how she's finding it difficult to breathe. She says, I'm not the one who can bring her suffering to an ease. No matter how many times I yell at the top of my lungs, please, just please. But by now I've lost my voice and she's getting up to leave. Seemingly having made her choice, she clears her nostrils with a sneeze. She says, thanks for letting me blow, letting me blow my nose on your lawn. Hops on her bike, rides away and is gone.